Welcome back, guys. This is Wolf Fire Studios. Hope you are all doing fine. And yeah, I know it's been quite a while. It's been a week since I uploaded the last devlog, and as you can see from my voice, uh, I have cold right now, and I was not able to do anything much on Unreal because I had some important work in my family going on, and I was busy. But here I am, just to show you guys the little progress I've made in the past week or so and if you guys hadn't did used it already my eventual plan was to shift from the ue4 skeleton to the ue5 skeleton why because well it's better in every way the ue4 skeleton has less bones and less control for ik and the control rig isn't as advanced as the ue5 skeleton is the control rig so I decided to switch the skeletons and to do that a very important role was played by the Lyra starter pack. Uh, it's on the Epic Marketplace. This is the Lyra starter game and this project really helped me a lot. Like this is a full fledged game that you can use and you can learn how to make your own game. And I use this to gather all of my animations. So now I have imported all of my animations, as you can see, I am placed them here in the Lyra Anims folder. And I have actions, aim offsets, simple locomotion, and even static poses. And I have all of these for three states. One is unarmed, one is for rifle, and one is for pistol. And eventually, goes without saying, I'll be adding a pistol in my game. And there will be times when the player will be unarmed. So for that, these animations will help. And this does not come without any issues or problems. Like some of the animations aren't perfect. They have some sort of hitching in between the frames and they're not smooth as they should be, but it's okay. For now they work fine. I can just improvise on those animations later on if I feel that they're not looking good. So let me just show you guys the work I did. This is the skeleton as you can see and I attached the weapon just to test how it is looking. And this skeleton is so much more vast than the UE4 skeleton and the control rig is very good. Why I chose this skeleton? The reason being that the control rig that Epic provides us for the UE5 skeleton is very versatile and I can easily create my own animations if I feel like. And there is this plugin that's available for Blender by the name of uh, Mr. Mannequin Tools or something. And it works for the UE4 skeleton. You can have the control rig inside Blender and make your own animations. And I guess the author will update it soon for the UE5 skeleton. So I can even go in Blender and make the animations that I require. But as of now, the control rig will suffice just fine. And it's really, really good. So I did the eventual step. I recreated the entire animation blueprint, as you can see. I named this one the UE4 one and the new one as the UE5. And this is the UE5 animation blueprint. It's exactly the same. I have removed this functionality of rotating my hand, rotating the player's hand to adjust to the vertical grip that's supposed to be here. Why I have done so? Because I really feel it's not looking good at the moment and I may remove it from the game entirely. That will depend. I mean, if there is a way that I can add it using IK and, you know, have good results, I will add it. Otherwise, it won't be there in the game, sadly. This is the rest of the anim graph and this is the event graph. Exactly as you might have seen in the older devlogs. Nothing new, nothing much. It's just that I had to edit a lot of stuff. I took all of these animations in Lyra, like all of these. And I did this asset actions. Where is it? Yeah. Asset actions bulk edit via property matrix. I selected all of these animations and I did this thing and I went here and I changed the skeleton because it came with the Lyra skeleton, Lyra starter game, but I changed the skeleton to my Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, this gray one here, because well, that was the thing. Yeah, I changed it. I changed it to this skeleton and eventually I had all of these animations up and running. Maybe there is some sort of a animation compression issue. I don't know, but uh, some of the animations are just improper and some of them aren't even there. So, you know, you just have to work with it. 
and I made the animation data. Yeah, I made the blend spaces. I made the aim offset. And as I told you guys, I made the animation blueprint and let's just play it. And here we are, as you can see, Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, the gray one. See, there is something wrong. I have changed the aim offset setting as it looks like. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to remove these values that I placed here and that's why the animations were slow. So if I play it right now, as you can see, it works just fine. This is your Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, Manny, and turn in place works fine. The problem is that the animation curves are different on this animation that is used for turn in place. So the right side works just fine, but the left side is glitching. See, it is glitching because the curve is in the opposite direction. So it's fighting back with the value and I need to remake the curve and fix it. It's not a big deal. I can just fix it. But then again, uh, as you can see, this is your idle animation back and forth, back and forth moving. I can crouch. Uh, the crouch animations for UE5 skeleton in the Lyra starter game are different. As you can see, this is your crouch. It is very low, but if I move, it stands a little bit. See, because practically when you are static, when you are crouched in a static way, you are lower than you would be when you're walking because you want to walk in a stable condition, right? And if I sprint, I'm in the normal condition. The rest of the stuff is working just fine. And as you can see, these animations, it is flickering. See, it is because of the IK. But yeah, I mean, it's not something that you will notice way too much. Even when you look in the shadows, it's just... It's just, you know, weird looking shadows of the gun. Anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, everything else is working fine. This is your holographic. This is your red dot. And this is your ACOG. This is your Leopold. And this is your iron sights. Also, canted sights here. And yeah, everything works just fine. And even now it is, as you can see, inverse kinematics. I'm not using any animation. I'm using just rotation of the bone. Everything else is fine. Now what I have to do next is get the character up and running again, once again, because there's no such proper way of doing it. And even right now, if you focus on the right arm, see, there is this hitching in the animation. It's because of the static animations, I guess. They are colliding or something. I don't know. The aim offset and the idle animation, there is something wrong with it. But I'll see what I can do to fix it. Even after that, the main problem, as I was mentioning, will be the character. I need to put the character in this skeleton. As of now, I do have a workflow plan for it. I can get the character from Blender and then I can put it here in, uh, uh, sorry, I can get the character from the source, the source being maybe Mixamo or maybe CC3 or anywhere. I can get it into Blender. I can remove its skeleton. I can make it just a plain mesh. And I can upload it to Mixamo, the website. I can use that website to properly make the skeleton. Basically, Mixamo can rig your model for you just in case. And that is really a good thing. So I can use it for Unreal and I can bring that here and then retarget it because it will be rigged for Unreal Engine 4. I can use this here. Uh, where is it? I can use this retargeting tool here. This one. No, I guess it's the opposite one. Yeah. This one. I can use this. This is the source, the UE4 mannequin, and the target is the UE5 one. So if I'm able to retarget that particular character onto this, sorry, the reverse one, if I'm able to retarget uh, this character onto this, basically, in simple words, if I'm able to transfer the skeleton of that UE4 model, whichever it will be using Mixamo onto this UE5 skeleton, I can easily replace it in my main blueprint. Simple as that, because the skeleton will be same. You're just changing the mesh. So nothing has changed. And yeah, that's all guys. That's it. I need to do it quickly. I've been wasting a lot more time and things have been going on in a strange way and have been a bit difficult for me here but i guess i'll just fix it and i'll move on quickly and i should 
get the character up and running without delay and after the character i won't be doing much with the player mechanics for some time because basic shooting is done attachments are done the character will be done so what remains is the level i need to quickly make some block outs i need to do everything that i can to get this level look decent enough and playable enough right now it's just an empty empty plane that's all and these buildings were made in cube grid so they are not even perfect not even half perfect let alone perfect i need to make them again in blender that's it that's it guys see you in the next one and hope you guys like it i know it hasn't been much even in the last devlog it was again the same problem and even now i haven't done much i've just ported the skeleton to be to be honest and i know but it's it was still time consuming to port it and i had other work going on so and i guess i'll i'll be having my exams as well so i may get busy there but whatever it is i'll try to record it and upload it here for you guys until uh, then take care that's it cheers guys